Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Capricorn, I want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations. You can now go to our online store and book readings there, whether it's the 30 minute or the video live reading. You can do that now on our online store. Keep in mind that we are at the end of the year, so this is the busiest season for us. Um, availability is limited. So we're scheduling now for December and January. As soon as we get filled up, you will not be able to, um, you won't be able to get any more bookings until further notice. So just giving you guys a heads up. Everyone's trying to get their yearly readings. Exciting time. How are you doing Capricorn? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. We are huge on holidays on this side. So <laughs> we kicked off since Halloween. So we're pretty excited about the holidays. Hope you guys are as well. Anyways, let's get into your reading Capricorn. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2021? What is unfolding for them? What can they expect for this month of November 2021 Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus what are the messages that you have for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising okay here we go your first card Capricorn is the two of pentacles second card is the nine of wands the eight of cups the chariot card and the four of pentacles okay interesting interesting okay so i see you guys currently dealing with the situation that has you very imbalanced um there is frustration and a feeling of wanting to give up um which i know it's not a capricorn quality right you guys are the ones that will make it work no matter what um a lot like taurus <laughs> but with the two of pentacles here i feel that emotionally you're drained capricorn emotionally you are like literally getting to the point of being emotionally checked out um and it has a lot to do with the feeling of inconsistency so you may be dealing with someone that brings a lot of inconsistency to your life for some of you guys it could be like um the hot and cold type of energy that you're currently dealing with um for others of you you may be dealing with someone from a distance but I feel strongly here that what Spirit is telling you, there is a need for you to bring it back to yourself. So when I when I say bring it back to yourself is making sure that you're good. And right now I see you guys like, like I said, getting to the point of feeling like you're emotionally checked out. And when you get to that point, it's like you're done. So what Spirit is telling you is don't push yourself to the point of exhaustion. Don't try to put effort and energy towards something or someone that is not reciprocating that type of energy because it's leaving you mentally exhausted. It's leaving you like you continuously keep putting effort and energy towards the situation, but things are not progressing the way you would hope or you've been expecting. And what they're telling you right now is the quickest way to the quickest way to make someone realize that they're fucking up is by pulling your energy back. No longer being available to that person. No longer rushing to answer their texts or answer their calls. No longer freaking out because they called you that one time when they've been telling you all week that they were going to call you and they decide to call you after four or five days and you freak out because it was a missed call and you're quick to call them back like seconds after that call was missed. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a pattern here and what they're telling you is that you need to bring it back to focusing on yourself. Why? Because if you continuously put effort and energy like you have, it's not going to make them want to treasure you. It's not going to make them realize if they haven't realized up until now. The only way a person realizes is the absence. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you is you need to take it back 
you need to refocus on yourself. Make yourself a priority. Make yourself the one that comes first. And I know that seems a bit selfish, but sometimes selfish is necessary. Now, the next card here is the Eight of Cups. So this is you, like I said, walking away from a situation that is no longer working for you. This is you going on your path to a new endeavor or um, walking towards, again, finding yourself, right? Capricorn is not Capricorn if you're not succeeding, right? That That's just a, a trait of Capricorns. And if up until now, you've gone above and beyond for this connection or this relationship that you're dealing with, and there is a bit of a struggle and there is no movement or no progress um, after all the effort and energy that you've been putting, you need to focus on yourself again. And by you being the confident Capricorn, self-sufficient person, um, strong, independent type of energy, when you get to that to that level, right? To the level of, you know, so it's almost like a feeling of, this and this is also um one thing about capricorns right capricorns are like known for being cold um known for even being selfish sometimes um shadow side of course but what a lot of people miss or, or don't really understand of a capricorn unless a capricorn allows you to get close to them is that you guys are huge softies you guys are so like the moment you fall for someone and you acknowledge that you care for them and you have feelings, there's nothing you will not do to work it out. And with the chariot card, this is about being confident. This is about no longer allowing yourself to wonder, what am I doing wrong? Or why is this person not reciprocating? And it's almost like quickly jumping into questioning, like, am I not worth it? Am I this? Am I that? And what Spirit is telling you is, you are everything. You are everything. With the Chariot card, you are everything. But you need to understand this. And you need to understand that your confidence and your worthiness doesn't come from other people. It comes from how you view yourself. And one of the qualities or traits of a Capricorn is when you guys are emotionally invested, it's like they become the center of your world, right? There's nothing you wouldn't do for your partner. But with the chariot cart here, what they're telling you is take your power back. Stop making yourself so available. Stop making yourself um, or allowing others to make you or put you in a situation of making you feel like you're an option or like other priorities in their life are before you. The moment you start to feel this way, pull your energy back. See how quick they come. And the reason I say that is with the chariot card, I see them coming back around, but you're going to be guarded. So this is for those of you guys that are currently dealing with the situation that they're giving you hot and cold type of vibes. They are not really speaking up or being completely transparent in regards to how they see or where they're wanting to go with this relationship. But what Spirit is telling you here is make yourself a priority. Bring it back to you, Capricorn, and see how quickly they notice that Capricorn is doing them. With the Four of Pentacles, though, I feel that when they do decide to uh, switch it up, right, let me show Capricorn that they're the one I want. Let me show Capricorn that I'm not willing to give up on this relationship you're going to be guarded. You're going to be like, now you need to really prove yourself because I got options. With the chariot card, this is feeling successful after doubting yourself over here. So there is a major shift that is going to be happening in the month of November. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, what they're telling you here is, again, stop self-sacrificing yourself. Start to put yourself first or make yourself a priority. If there is something that is lacking in the relationship, in the commitment, you need to speak up. You need to be honest with your partner. All right, my lovelies, hopes that this, um, hopes, hope that this gives you insight, understanding. 
we will see each other soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.